Hi guys, in this video I'm going to review yet another compact wireless microphone system. This is the Boom XD from Kamika. So similar to some of the other compact wireless microphone systems that I've already reviewed, uh, this thing has a few things that are in common and some things that make it stand out. Similar to all the other systems, uh, the transmitters are these nice small little compact boxes. They're very light, easy to conceal, uh, or you can directly mount it actually, like you see I have one up here, uh, because they actually have a microphone capsule also built into them. So you can basically use the built-in microphone, and this is what you guys are hearing me uh, on right now. Or if you want to, you can actually also plug in an external lavalier mic. Uh, to this transmitter. So then, then it just acts sort of like a traditional lavalier microphone system. Aside from that, the transmitters are pretty simple in design. They have a mute button and that also doubles as a power on and off button. They have a pairing button uh, and then they also have a USB-C connection on the side uh, for charging the internal battery. Uh, the batteries on this, by the way, last around five hours, which is more or less what uh, is uh, advertised by the manufacturer. There's a little reset uh, button there or a little like a, a hole where you can use a pin that they provide if you want to reset the whole microphone system. And on the top you have a built-in microphone capsule uh, and then next to that you have the three and a half millimeter uh, microphone jack so that you can plug in an external lavalier microphone. When you buy this kit it does actually come with another lavalier microphone that I'm going to test out later and let you guys hear the difference. On the back you'll find a little clip that you can use to clip the microphone and attach it to your clothing or conceal it somewhere on your talent. Uh, and this also fits into a cold shoe mount on a camera uh, and it's the exact same clip that's uh, on the transmitter right now and that's how I have it actually attached to my camera using the cold shoe mount. The transmitters and the receiver both have a nice built-in LED color display that will show you all the information that you need to, to be able to use the system. So uh, you can see your battery levels, your audio levels, things like that. Using this kit so far has been very easy, very straightforward. And that's because you pretty much just power on the transmitters, the receiver, and you're instantly paired and connected. I never actually had to so far use the manual pair button, but you know, you do have it there in case, uh, if, let's say there's some interference and things like that. Uh, aside from that, there are some settings you can change, the main one being whether you want to be recording or outputting the audio in mono or in stereo. Uh, right now I'm in mono because I'm only uh, transmitting on one microphone, but let's say if you wanted to have these two microphones uh, transmitting and sending the signal to the one uh, receiver, then uh, you can, for example, have it in stereo, meaning one of the microphones is going to be going, let's say, to the right channel, the other microphone to the left channel. Now, if you want to, you can actually output both microphones into a mono signal uh, and then you can still individually adjust the levels, the, the signal or the volume on each of the microphone, but then your final output is going to be the same on both left and right channels. Uh, the transmitter is equally nice and small and light and simple to use. Uh, you have your power button that also doubles as a basically switch between the mono and stereo settings. Uh, you have two buttons for adjusting the audio levels for each of the microphones. Uh, you have your reset pin switch there uh, on the other side of the transmitter. You have your USB-C connection for charging uh, the built-in uh, lithium-ion battery. And then on top of your receiver you have your audio out uh, jack, so you can connect a 3.5mm cable uh, to your camera or to your smartphone or whatever it is that you want to connect it to. Uh, and then right next to that you have your headphone jack, so you can monitor the audio before it goes out to your camera. Now when you buy this kit, you are going to get all the uh, audio cables that you're going to need. So you have your uh, regular TRS cable for your camera. There's actually two of them because they have different sensitivities. Some for like, let's say Sony or Canon cameras, which have uh, basically lower inputs, the, the microphone inputs on, on those cameras. Uh, you also get the TRRS cable for connecting this to a smartphone. Uh, and actually, if you want to, you can buy another receiver, uh, which is going to work with any of these microphones and that, that plugs into the bottom of your smartphone using a USB-C jack and that will allow you to basically transmit the audio to your smartphone without the need of having the transmitter sort of dangle on the side and having any audio cables uh, connected to your smartphone. And by the way, you can also get this whole kit but get it basically with one uh, transmitter in case you don't care about having two microphones. As far as the specs, uh, there's really not much to say. It's again 2.4 gigahertz uh, signal that it uses, a digital signal, just like all the other compact uh, wireless audio or microphone systems that I've re reviewed so far. 
Uh, the working range on this is uh, 164 feet or basically 50, 50 uh, meters uh, for those of you living in Europe or, or I guess the rest of the world that uses meters. Um, uh, so that's more or less the working range and you do want to have both the, the transmitter and the receiver kind of open line of sight. It's not a system designed uh, you know, to work well with, with objects in, in between. You have, if you have something small or something that's passing very quickly, that's okay. But if you, uh, let's say, thinking you can shoot with this uh, and have, let's say, the transmitter and the receiver shoot through walls and things like that, it's not going to work very well. So now I'm going to do the long range test just to show you guys how uh, the system performs at its maximum advertised range, which again is 50 meters or 164 feet. As always, I got my most favorite beautiful model here, my wife, Chrysia. Stop it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> and she's, she's going to be on the, I believe, the left channel. I'm on the right channel because now I switched it to stereo. Now, the big difference is going to be I have the windscreen that's provided, so my audio should be, I guess, clearer because it is actually pretty windy today. She does not have the windscreen, so again, you guys can kind of compare how the wind noise is. And as always, if you want, you can go to my website at tomantosfilms.com where you can download this original audio test uh, for yourself so you can compare it and you can listen to the left and uh, right audio channels separately. Anyways, let's go. Okay. So we are right now, how far do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. <laughs> I, I would say we're around 100 feet. No. At least that's what it is when I was looking 100? at Google Earth. I don't think this is 100. I think when it's I, less. When I was looking at Google Earth, that's what it was showing no. me. Anyways, um, okay, let's say we're 90 feet. We're, we're 75. <laughs> All right, okay, well, let's go further back. Okay. And now, according to Google Earth, we are 50 meters away from the camera, or again, 164 feet. Uh, so this is the max advertised working range. What do you think? Is it going to work or no? I think it's going to work. I don't know my microphone, and it doesn't have the dead cat on. Yeah, So it's a dead mouse, actually. Dead, dead mouse, dead cat, mouse, Dead cat dog. is for the big mics. So it's a, a little, animal, little one, whatever. little furry thing. <laughs> um, so I don't know how it's going to sound. This one in particular. Oh, let, let's head back and let's think. Let's, let's again see how it sounds as we're walking back. Now, one thing you guys do have to keep in mind is that uh, sort of like with all the other wireless, though these compact wireless microphone systems I've tested out, uh, if we, once you have open line of sight like this, the systems work very well. But if you were to, for example, turn around and the system now, the microphone goes basically through your body, okay. then a lot of times it will cut out. So it's, it even says actually uh, in the manual for this system and some of the other ones, it tells you that uh, unless you're really close, you do not want to be basically ha have the basic microphone go through your talent's body uh, because again it it's, uh, it means that there's a higher chance that the signal is going to cut out all right anyways now we're back how far do you think we are now um i don't know i'm not good with the metric system <laughs> well, <I'm, laughs> whatever any system <laughs> uh i don't know maybe 20 yeah, feet a little bit more i would say 25 feet mm -hmm. Okay, yeah? maybe, I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> all right, anyways, that's it for the long range test. So right now, just so you guys can hear, I'm using the provided lavalier microphone that's connected to the transmitter. It's, that's in my packet using a three and a half millimeter audio cable. So anyways, this is how this sounds. Uh, and another thing I want to mention is uh, you'll notice that the little microphone capsules that are built into the transmitters uh, are kind of are sticking out a little bit. And that actually is a good thing because then that means that this little windscreen that uh, is also provided when you buy the kit, uh, it has this kind of a sort of a rubber shoe around it and makes it very easy uh, to snugly basically put it on top of your microphone capsule. And that windscreen is gonna really help when you have a lot of wind, like for example, I have today uh, here on the beach. So this actually is, is very helpful because so far all the other compact wireless audio systems that I've reviewed uh, they do provide you these little windscreens, but they use these little sort of a clip-on kind of a system on the top. And I find that those things are so flimsy that the windshield basically keeps on falling off. And I actually lost mine uh, when I was using it with my Rode Wireless Go system. This thing, uh, because it uses this sort of a rubber kind of a chute that it kind of, you know, snugly fits on top of the mic capsule, it, it really does not fall out. Like you can see, I can even dangle it using this and uh, the, the microphone capsule. It, it does not detach from the windscreen. So that is actually one cool little feature. 
Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And I guess otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.